Hi everybody, this is ATX Mom, and today I'm going to talk about something that everybody who has a baby or a toddler has to deal with, which is diapers. Um, so I want to talk about my 10 favorite diapering essentials for your baby. I'm going to start with the diapers themselves, and our favorite brand of diapers here in our house are Pampers. We've actually tried Huggies, we've tried Loves, we've tried all of the um, kind of generic store brands on the market, and we found hands down Pampers are our favorite diapers. Uh, my son wore Swaddler's diapers. He actually wore Swaddler's sensitives um, when he was born, and we really loved them. But what we found is once he reached a size three, that the only Pampers diapers available have Dry Max, including the Swaddler's. Um, and if you've read anything or heard anything about Dry Max, it's pretty controversial. Um, it causes a lot of really bad diaper rash and blisters on a lot of little ones. So it was important for me to find a diaper that didn't have Dry Max. Um, so what I've learned is that Pampers has a line called Baby Dry, and Baby Dry are essentially their overnight diapers. They're a 12-hour diaper. They do not contain Dry Max. They are one of the few Pampers products besides um, Swaddlers and smaller sizes that don't contain Dry Max. Um, so we tried them out, and we absolutely love them. As soon as we started using them, um, this is the size 3 box. My son is actually in the size 4s now, um, and this is what the diapers look like. They have little Sesame Street characters on them. But as soon as we started using these diapers, he stopped having blowouts, um, we stopped having leak problems, they were really, really great. Um, he never gets, very, very rarely, I should say, never gets um, diaper rash from them. We really, really love these diapers, and I love that I was able to find um, a Pampers diaper that didn't have Dry Max. So do some Googling, read a little bit about Dry Max, and if you decide to stick with Pampers once they reach size 3, this is the brand that you'll go to, which is the Baby Dries. Um, I've also found that baby dries are a bit more inexpensive than some of the swaddlers or the cruisers, so um, definitely shop around and find a good price on them, but we just love these diapers. Um, as far as wipes, we also um, stick with the Pampers line, and we use these Pampers Sensitive Wipes. Um, really love them. They don't really have any sort of strong chemicals or strong scents to them. They're really gentle on their skin, and they clean up things really well, like when I need to clean up his face or if he know, um, spill something on the floor, I'll grab a wipe, and these work really, really great. So we really love these Pampers sensitive wipes. Um, and a tip for these, we get these auto-delivered through Amazon, and um, they send us like a case of them that last forever, and they're way cheaper than what um, what they sell them for in the stores. So definitely look on places like diapers.com or amazon.com. Um, we get our diapers delivered in these huge boxes, and we get our wipes delivered in huge boxes, and it really saves us a lot of money. Um, so those are the Pampers wipes. The next thing I really, really love, and it's kind of, um, people have mixed reactions. Some people will love, this is a wipe warmer. Some people love their wipe warmers. Some people hate their wipe warmers or think that they're a waste of money. Um, we love our wipe warmer, and I can't imagine not having, having it. Um, if you've never seen one of these, what they are, it's a little machine, and it plugs in. There's a plug that goes in the back. And then there's this little pillow that's inside it and you soak this pillow until it's really really wet pretty much every time you add a new pack of wipes you wet the pillow um, and it stays here in the bottom and keeps the wipes wet and then you put the pack of wipes in here and it keeps them really nice and toasty warm um, I found it really great when I'm changing my son in the middle of the night I don't think anyone would want to wake up and kind of the middle of the night sleepiness to an ice cold wipe on their bum so um, they're really um, they're really great at keeping the wipes kind of comfortable and warm, and we love them. There's a lot of people that kind of laugh at wipe warmers and say it's a waste of money. I would say it's fantastic. We love it. Um, I can't imagine not having it. Um, and one of the really great things, this is a Prince Lionheart wipe warmer, um, and Prince Lionheart also makes this caddy, this diaper caddy that the wipe warmer fits right into. So. Um, this is like a little plastic caddy and it holds and this um, little lid here opens up and you fill it with diapers and then they come out on the side here. And then it holds all of your other diapering essentials. So the wipe warmer itself um, fits right there and sits right in the top. And I keep our hand sanitizer in here for when I'm done um, changing a diaper. And this is a great, um, this is especially for kids, hand sanitizer. I find this at Babies R Us. Um, really gentle on your hands. I really like that brand of hand sanitizer. Um, and then there's a little hook on the back, and this actually hooks right onto your changing table. So it hangs on the side of the changing table, and it's a really great little caddy. 
especially if you have this wipe warmer because it has little um, grooves in the bottom and it fits right in here really securely. Um, so I really love this little kind of caddy that keeps everything organized. And while I have the caddy out, I'm going to talk to you about the diaper creams that we use in our house. Um, I have a few diaper creams I like depending on the use. Our everyday diaper cream that we really love is this um, Burt's Bees Baby Bee diaper ointment. Um, this is one of those diaper creams that's really, really thick. Um, it's a little chalky. It's one of those zinc diaper creams, um, but it creates a really great barrier on his um, on his behind whenever he goes to bed at night. So I know that um, he won't wake up in the morning with diaper rash. So this is a great kind of everyday slather it on really thick diaper cream. Um, I've also recently started using Boudreaux's butt paste, and this is actually the all natural butt paste. Um, this one's a little thinner. It's kind of the um, consistency of Elmer's glue. So it's not, you know, super thick and chalky. It's a little more runny. Um, but this, when he does have a diaper rash and I need something to help get rid of it really quickly, um, I found that this works really, really well. The other two diaper creams that I have here are actually only available um, through the hospital. You can't buy these. And the nurses at um, the hospital gave these to us and said, hold on to these because these are like gold. They work really well. These are for the heavy duty, really bad diaper rash. Um, when you when you need something that's kind of almost prescription strength, that's when these come out. So again, I don't believe you can buy these in the store. Coloplast makes them. Um, and then there's one that's like an extra strength and one that's a regular. Um, but if you happen to um, just recently have a baby or if you're still in the hospital with a baby ask the nurses if you can get a couple of tubes of this because it's really really great um, my son is 14 months now and I've barely gone through either of these tubes because we only bring them out in case of emergency um, but they're great to have around the other thing while I have my caddy out here um, that I really like is this Burt's Bees baby bee dusting powder and this is a talc free powder you should make sure when you're if you're looking at a baby powder that you should always look for a powder that's talc free because a powder with talc in it, um, Johnson's baby powder is one that I believe still has talc in it. Um, it can get into their lungs, they can breathe it, it can be really harmful for them. Um, so you should always look for a powder that's talc free. I like this one when you know, if we're out, we live in Austin so it's really hot and my son's really sweaty and his skin is really wet and sweaty, um, I'll dust him off with some powder just to kind of get him nice and cool and dry. Um, so he likes a little sprinkle of powder if I'm not going to put um, some diaper cream on him. So I really like this um, Burt's Bees Baby Bees. This is the same talc I've had since he was born. So it takes a really long time. One tube will or one little container here will last you a really long time. Um, but I really like that product as well. So let's put our caddy back here. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is a diaper genie. And I didn't bring my whole Diaper Genie out here for the video. I just brought the refills um, for the Diaper Genie. And this is another product similar to the Wipes Warmer where some people will tell you you don't need a diaper pail. You can just use, you know, your regular house garbage can. Um, we found that our diaper pail has been invaluable. We really love it. Um, we keep it next to his changing table. And it's great to kind of contain all of the smell and everything from the diapers. Um, we change it probably every other day, so you don't have to constantly run to the garbage. Every time you have a dirty diaper, you can kind of keep it all contained in the Diaper Genie. It doesn't make his room smell, anything like that. Um, it really helps contain all the odors associated with diapers. So um, this is what the Diaper Genie looks like. If you've never seen one, there's a picture here on the box. Um, and this is the model that we have here, the Diaper Genie Elite. The reason I like the Elite over the Essentials is it has this little foot pedal. And you can just step on the foot pedal and the top opens and you drop the little diaper in. Um, and then these are the refills. Now similar to our wipes and our diapers, we get these refills auto-delivered through Amazon and get a really great price on them. They show up once every two months, maybe. Um, we don't go through them that fast. Um, and one of these rolls will last you um, a good little while, depending on how many diapers you go through. So um, we just love our Diaper Genie. While I'm on the subject of disposing of diapers, um, I want to talk about this little roll of diaper um, disposable bags. This is, Munchkin makes this, and this is for your diaper bag. I keep this in my diaper bag. Um, I actually talk about this product a lot in my What's in My Diaper Bag video. 
Um, but this is great because they're little scented bags um, that come out of this little roll. And if you're somewhere where you're out at a friend's house or you're out in public and you have a really messy diaper that you don't want to just throw in the trash, they're a really nice size. They're not too big. Um, and you can just throw the diaper in here and toss it in the trash. So I really love these. Um, and these are really inexpensive. They're 4 or $5. I found mine at Target. Um, but they're great to throw in your diaper bag just in case. Another item I really love in my diaper bag are these Munchkin disposable changing pads. And again, I think I found these at Target. They're pretty inexpensive. Um, I was looking as my son was getting bigger and bigger, he was outgrowing the changing pads that they have with, um, that come with your standard diaper bag. So I was looking for a changing pad that was a bit bigger for him. And I've been using these disposable pads because they're really big. I'm gonna fold one out for you so you can see how big they are. Um, and they're great for covering up, you know, the um, little changing tables when you're out at the restaurant or out shopping. Um, and then they fold up really nice and small and you can just toss them in your bag. Um, they are disposable, but I found you can get a lot of uses out of them. As long as they don't get soiled, um, you can use them again and again until they get pretty dirty and you have to throw them away. So um, I really like these. They're a great alternative to the big bulky changing pads. Um, that often come with diaper bags. The last product I want to talk about in diapering essentials um, is this little bag called a Skip Hop. And Skip Hop um, makes this little diaper, kind of diapering essentials bag. This is a great bag for when you just want to go to the store and you don't want to take your whole diaper bag with you. You can grab this little um, Skip Hop bag. And it's got a pouch. I'll turn it this way so you can see it. It's got a pouch here at the top to fit some diapers. There's a zippered pouch right here that holds um, your wipes. It actually comes with a hard wipe case, which my son at some point lost. Um, it's a red case. It was a really nice <laughs> wipes case, so I'm kind of bummed he lost it. But um, it fits right in here. But you can use any size of um, disposable wipes in that little pouch. And then the bottom of it folds out into a changing pad. And it actually unzips as well. So you can unzip the whole changing pad um, and keep it separate from the rest of it. And then it folds up really nice. So this is great if you're just running to the market, you don't want to drag your whole diaper bag, you tuck this under your arm. Um, there's a little zipper in the front here. I would always tuck my cell phone and my wallet in here, and then it was kind of a self-contained little bag. Um, so I really like this product um, by Skip Hop. And then the last thing I want to, want to talk to you about is just a tip um, it's kind of a pro mommy tip. I tell this to every friend I have that has a baby. Um, all the new moms always get this as a gift from me. Um, this is ivory soap, just a plain white bar of ivory soap that you can get for you know a dollar or two dollars. Ivory soap takes out every sort of diaper stain. So I found that when my son was really little and he was having a lot of diaper blowouts. I tried Dreft, I tried OxyClean, I tried All and Tide and every sort of stain remover and nothing was getting out um, these bad stains. And then another mom friend of mine recommended Ivory Soap and she said, I swear it gets out everything and it really does. Um, this is the same bar of soap I've had since my son was newborn. You will have one bar will last you probably two or three years. Um, but I just keep it next to my sink and anytime he has any sort of stain on his clothes from his diapers or even from his food, um, you just scrub it up with some ivory soap, give it a really good scrub with your hands, get some elbow grease in there, and the stains will come out. It's amazing. Pro mommy tip um, that I wanted to share with you guys. So those are my 10 favorite diapering essentials for your newborn or your toddler. Hope you found some new products that you um, might want to try out. And let me know in the comments what products you like for diapering and have fun changing all those dirty diapers.